This week in Musical Lab, we'll be looking at how to change the pitch of a water bottle. To make the water bottle sound, it's much the same as when we made a whistle. You might remember we learned how to whistle with our fingers. We also learned how to, we worked on whistling just with our regular mouths. We learned how to whistle with our hands by making our chamber inside here where the air spins around, be airtight, and we use your yarn thumbs. And we may have, if we had time, also looked at a regular whistle and how it has the ball. It goes around and around. It causes the air to start going up and down. And if the air goes across and it's going up and down in the circular movement, it causes the waves to create a whistle. It is much the same with a water bottle. When we blow across the top of a water bottle, it will create a sound if there's a space for the air to spin. The question is, what happens when we change the pitch? Or how do we change the pitch? When I drink some of this water, It makes the space larger. And when I play this and there's less water, is the pitch going to be higher or is the pitch going to be lower? Make sure you get that on your lab back book, lab book, and we'll run this experiment. Before I tell you what to write on your lab book, I need to explain what H2O stands for. It means two hydrogen and one oxygen. That's what water is made out of. On your lab book, you'll write 35 H2O bottle, or in other words, water bottle. You're going to make a guess when there's more H2O and when there's less H2O, or when there's more water or less water, and fill in the blank. It's either higher or lower. On the page, draw two water bottles. One water bottle will have lots of water. One water bottle will have little water. And you're going to make a guess about which one of those is higher in pitch and which one is lower in pitch. And at the end of class, I'll run the experiment and we will know how to change the pitch of a water bottle.